What's up YouTube? Sacred Sage here and I am back with another video. This time it's going to be about ghost lights. This is probably the best way to light one of your scenes. It is the definite go-to that I use. So ghost lights, what are they? It's a primitive, which is this setting right here, and it's a plane, right? And you can make it anything you want and you can turn it into a light source I don't do it that way I actually have a asset ghost light kit and that's what I use so basically what I do do I want it to go up and down left or right up and down bam and then it will plop a ghost light as you can see right here into your scene so let's find it right out here so let us go ahead and bring it up Woo. and you can make this whatever size you want so let's say I'm gonna start lighting this scene and I don't want to just do a blanket light I want it to be more natural right let's say right about here since we're already here we go ahead and place this ghost light so I'm gonna show like a before and after so before we even do the ghost slider, turn it on, we're going to eye ray this, right? And you will see how dark and dingy this police station looks. I mean, it just, it's just looks, it looks terrible. It needs a lot of lighting, right? You can kind of see some lighting and some glares and whatnot, but we are going to light this up. So let's go ahead and click on this and... I can change the settings in the utility. You always got to apply. And then you can change the how bright it is right here. But I always do surface. So let's start out with about, I don't know. Let's, let's see what 400 does. We can always adjust. And we'll see how much light just that one ghost light gives us. Now ghost lights are very very good because it also speeds up your renders like you can't even tell there's a ghost light here on the ground you can kind of see it lighten up right here and that's basically what it's used for and if you do that for each light source eventually the whole place will be lit up pretty good let's say it's not let's say you're doing a club scene you're not even doing you know natural lighting you can change the colors of these so this emissive color, I can change it to, let's say red. Bam. And now it is emanating a red color instead of the normal color that it does, right? So you can literally light it with any type of scene that you want. So another way of ghost lighting, instead of doing each individual source, if you know you're not going to be hitting like the ceiling and you're going to conceal it, because a lot of times in a lot of renders, you don't show the ceiling. This this spot, yeah, you can see the ceiling. But you don't got to. Let, let's say you're just a shot that's going to be like this or something, right? There's a, there's a way that I call the blanket. So let's plop another one down. And with this one's going to be massive. It's just going to be one massive lighting. So we're going to delete that one. And then we're going to go into our parameters tab right here. And we are going to make this one big, big light. So let's go up. And this is, like I said, I don't, I use a blanket light quite a bit in most of my scenes. But I do all the lighting first. So I'll light everything I want to first. And if I feel like overall it needs more lighting, I will do my blanket light. So let's get this nice and close to the edge. It looks pretty close. Yeah, that looks good. And we're going to change the X size. And we're just going to expand it. Look at that. Ooh, that thing is massive, right? And then we're going to take the Z and just make it massive that way too. Like I said, I normally do this after I already put in all my other lighting. That's why I call it the blanket light. Okay, now we go to Smart Content, Utility, Apply Before Setting. It starts out at 100 already. We're going to make that one the same as before. Let's, let's make it a 400. 
and see what it does to the whole entire scene. Bam. Lights it up nice and bright. Not dingy like it used to be. It's not natural, but I mean, it's a ghost light. It's just to light up a little bit of an area, right? So I would first recommend lighting anything you're going to do first and then start throwing out like a blanket light. Um, trying to think if there's anything that I miss. See, surface tabs with the... With the ghost light. Let me let me make sure that I do 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 ghost light click. Alright, so we went over the let's go over some of these settings. So I went over the base color. The base color changes the color of the ghost light. Um these other settings like uh roughness and translucency and stuff like that, I've never had to mess with any of them. The only thing I've ever had to mess with in the Surface Tab has literally been the color, um, the amount of light, and the temperature, and two-sided. So the lumen is how much lighting is coming from it. The higher it is, the more light that's going to come from it. Two sides, so uh, it'll hit you know, up and down, right? So if we bring in this ghost light right here, and we bring it up. If you do two sides and you turn that on, it will come from this side and down here. Or left and right if you have the horizontal. Um, I think that's about it for the ghost lighting and how they work and functions. I always use ghost lights in every scene. And the reason why is they speed up your renders. It doesn't use the same um, light geometry as a like a spotlight so what a spotlight does let's say I take this spotlight and I point it right here it's gonna take that light geometry from that light and it's gonna bounce off that wall and then it's gonna go other places the ghost light doesn't work the same way so it actually helps mitigate a lot of the geometry, I believe. My, I don't think I quite have that right, but it's on the same basis anyways. But I've had scenes that would take 30 minutes to render out. And I would throw out ghost lights to make it brighter and more clear. And it, it, it would knock down the render down time down to, I want to say like 5 minutes from 30. So they definitely speed up renders. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and uh, think about subscribing to the channel. I will probably do another tutorial on lighting and I'll do like a, like starting from complete scratch. Like I'm just going to go in, like I think I already got the scene I'm going to do, which is going to be an office scene and go step by step in what I do and determining the lights that I'm going to use for that scene. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys next time. Until then, take care.